A vibrant and symbolic piece of art, the memorial makes no mention of Stephen Sotloff's death. The only hint of Mideast conflict is the Dome of the Rock in the old city where Sotloff once lived. The fruits of righteousness give way to orchids and greenery where you'll find Sotloff's own words. The letters he secretly wrote to his family while he was held hostage by the terror group ISIS. It's kind of a blueprint of what he wants us to do, how to live our lives. Arthur and Shirley Sotloff got a look at the painting by artist Tracy Ellen for the first time on Tuesday. It's on display at the Greenspoon Martyr Law Firm in Fort Lauderdale as part of its community arts partnership. Ellen said she began working on the piece after Sotloff's death as a way to give back to the family who she said lost so much. There's a lightness, um, there's a soulfulness about it that she really loved. The artwork was picked by the family after it was submitted to the Stephen Sotloff Two Lives Foundation, which helps support journalists and their families. I love color and um, it was different and it had nothing to do with how Stephen died. It just had to do with just something that illuminated in, in Tracy, Tracy's mind. Sotloff's father said he could see his son in the painting, the embodiment of his life, his faith, and the quest he was on to bring a little more light into the world. I kind of felt like my son was standing in front of me. You know, it was a part of him. You know, he was an extraordinary person. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News.